Hi, Jason Baker here with Short Sale Success. Today I wanted to cover the new Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac upgrades or changes in their programs. The first update is Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are no longer participating in the government's HAFA program. They've made their own set of rules now. It's almost like HAFA, okay? It's kind of like HAFA Junior, if you will, and it's called their standard short sale program. It went into effect January 1st, okay, and they had uh, ratified it before then. And it is establishing strict timelines for servicers to respond to short sales within 30 days uh, of receipt of, the, uh, of a short sale offer. Servicers also must provide to the seller, okay, sometimes that's via the agent or equator or wherever you may be, uh, weekly updates. Okay. Servicers also must communicate a final decision to the borrower within 60 days. So good news here, they're putting some time restraints uh, uh, here recently or prior to the change, Fannie and Freddie was taking a little bit of extra time for the investor to sign off everything. Uh, they've, they've not only created this single standard short sale process, but they've empowered servicers to quickly and easily qualify certain borrowers who are current on their mortgages, okay? Uh, without having to wait for approval for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. What does this mean? Short sales, once again, are they're not going to be the easiest thing that you've ever done, but they are stream, streamlining the process. Part of the traffic jam was, yeah, well, we've gone through all the back and forth with the servicer, and now they've got to send it off to the investor. And since Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac own close to half of the loans in the United residential loans in the United States, well, there's a good chance it was Fannie and Freddie. And again, traffic jams are never good when everybody's trying to get a commission, and more importantly, helping sellers. They're offering special treatment for military personnel, as well they should, with permanent change of station. Okay. And it standardizes and clarifies foreclosure suspensions on a property uh, with an approved short sale. So more on that. Uh, may pay borrowers up to 3000 in a relocation assistance. Never a bad thing when you're pitching a seller. And they're going to uh, allow for up to 6000 on junior lien holders. Now, we all know that half of it is 8500 so this is a little different. So be very careful when you're first starting these off to not say 8500 or think 8500 right away. Okay, and we'll go over that in just a minute, too. And the nice thing about it is, is uh, you're able to uh, go after a new loan or buy a home after two years. So after you're out of this for two years, you, know, you can be back in the ownership market. Fannie and Freddie will waive the right to pursue deficiencies in exchange for a financial, financial contribution only if the borrower has sufficient income or assets to make it. So I know on half of sometimes we don't have to worry about that, but here we're going to have to worry about that. So if they're doing a strategic default, or they've got some money or they've got some assets, they may be asked to contribute a part of that uh, in exchange for a deficiency release. They're never going to, uh, and again, they really are gonna be looking at assets here, and they really are, <laughs> all right? So they're never gonna ask for a financial contribution or a deficiency judgment to a service member, okay? So when you're doing this, how do I know if my seller qualifies? Here's a couple hardship examples. Distant employment transfer, they've moved more than 50 uh, miles away from their the subject property. Okay, because of employment or they've been relocated, that would be a hardship. Okay, Increased housing expenses or the lowering of the income. So housing expenses will go up if your income goes down, but they, they don't say lowering of your income, they say increased housing expenses. So you can easily make a case if the income's gone down. Disaster, natural or man-made. All right, uh, business failure, okay, obviously uh, if a business fails. So escalations, this darn fan, this is only for Fannie Mae that I'm talking about right now. If you're having trouble with a Fannie Mae backed mortgage, okay, um, there's a new way that you, the agent or the negotiator, can get in and file an escalation directly to the investor and not have to work through, say, the servicer. It's called Home Pass Short Sales, okay? If you want to uh, communicate directly to the investor, again, tattletale on that servicer, just go right ahead. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. If you're having valuation issues or the files just plain stuck, all right, they're not following the timelines, etc. Feel free to go to www.homepathforshortsales.com. If you want to escalate the file and get it to move forward, dispute your value, or any issues that you have on the problem, feel free to let Fannie Mae know directly if the servicer just is not listening to you. Scroll down the page until you see how can real estate professionals escalate a short sale issue to Fannie Mae and click Get Started Today. You simply fill out your first name or last name or the agents if you're processing for them the phone number, the email, the agency name, the buyer's first name last. So enter the property address and the loan number and the servicer name, okay? If the property has a sale date, go ahead and click yes or no if it does not. If you've already submitted a request 
uh, you know, for this escalation to the servicer, you, uh, you would put yes, and obviously if you haven't clicked no. And you can go directly to Fannie Mae. You don't have to go to the servicer first. We normally do, because we're asking the servicer for help. When we're not getting it, then we would come here, okay? And how can we help you? Uh, fire the negotiator, uh, is that in there? No, it's not. <laughs> so pick one of those, whatever applies, and then hit submit. I'm telling you, within 48 or 72 hours, you're gonna have results. So here are the exact steps. If you get a short sale listing, okay, or you're trying to pre-qualify a seller, first thing you need to do is to check the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac websites. Do they own the loan, all right? The second thing you need to do, if it's owned by Fannie or Freddie, is you need to disclose the normal bank app and the Form 710, which is a Fannie and Freddie form, and other short sale package items to the seller, okay? Also, if it is Fannie Mae, you want to disclose the Fannie Mae authorization. If it's Freddie Mac, you certainly don't need to do this. If it is Fannie, and uh, it's a good idea to send over the bank's authorization and the Fannie authorization, especially because you have to upload the Fannie authorization into the Escalation or the HomePath website uh, in order for them to um, uh, move forward with that, okay? So all of this stuff is down below at the bottom of this email, so go ahead. Uh, if you need it, please contact me, 406-219-3345 or Jason at Short Sale Mail. Click that link below for these forms and keep watching on how to uh, learn how to use them. Short Sale Sync software does automatically fill in the uh, Form 710 for you and uh, also has the new Fannie Mae authorization up in there. Make it a great day. Jason with Short Sale Success.